Hi, this is Joel from Blue Swing Media, and today we're going to talk about reasons why your content marketing is failing. We're going to look at eight things, and we're going to go through them pretty quickly. If you want to read the full explanation behind this, you can go over to our website. We have a post called Why My Content Marketing is Failing. And let's get into it. Number one, the main reason that your content marketing is failing is that you do not have a proper strategy or your strategy is missing the mark, okay? It's great to get some content flowing, but either before you do it or, or soon after you embark in content marketing, you need to think about strategy. You need to think about your end goal. You need to think about your target audience. You need to think about keywords, search volume, what people are actually searching for. You need to think about answering questions and solving problems, speaking to the pain point that people have, providing value, relevancy. All of these things need to be in your strategy. If you create a bunch of great content, and nobody ever searches for that. Okay, number two, and that is, let's say you do a sufficient strategy and maybe you have some good ideas and you've got a good plan for some content you're gonna create and then you start to create mediocre content or content that just doesn't quite deliver or poorly written content or spun content from someone else. Your content must be high quality. So that may be one reason why your content marketing is failing. Number three, so maybe you have done some decent research, you have a decent strategy, you're putting out good content, but your content may be presented in a way that is not optimal. You can't just slap all of your text down on a web page with no breaks, no images, and the presentation like a textbook okay people are not going to consume that on the web so your presentation uh, needs to be decent so if your if your website is just ugly and unappealing you may you may be failing in that area also the content itself although there may be some rich value in it it helps if your content is a little bit uh, you know interesting or not not boring okay so if there's a way that you can in, introduce an element that is unique something that's a little bit more appealing that is a good way to to increase the engagement so if your if your content is good but it's really boring or it's presented poorly that, that might be the third reason why your content marketing is failing number four the competition is extremely fierce and so if you're jumping into a space that has had big players creating fantastic content for years and you just say, well, I'm just going to jump right into this space and compete, you're going to be disappointed and you're probably going to fail. However, if you take that big chunk where there are giants and you narrow it down a little bit, okay, and you find a, a niche that is a little bit more specific it could be the exact same industry then you can compete okay so if the competition is too fierce that may be a reason why your content marketing is failing that was reason number four number five and neil patel is actually really big on this he says the second part of content marketing is the marketing okay and that is you're not sufficiently uh, promoting your content now, there are two schools here, and they both have uh, a good point that they, that they make. Uh, one school of thought is, if you create really, really good content, Google's going to do its thing, and eventually people are going to find it. And that is true. However, if you want to magnify that a little bit, boost that a little bit, speed that up a little bit, then promoting your content is actually not that hard to do especially because we have all these platforms where you have people 
who are consuming media every day. You have social media outlets. So you take your content that you put all this time and effort into and you just trickle it out and promote it. You can even do paid promotions at the beginning if you want to get a little extra traction, especially uh, some early wins and bring in some more people into your audience. That could be another reason why you're not seeing growth and traction because you're not promoting. All right, so that was reason number five. Five really big, big, important things that you need to consider. Number six, and this one is a tragedy. I tell you, it just hurts. I've seen this happen so many times. It's happened to me. It's happened to people that, that I've worked with who just gave up too early. They, they put in effort. They maybe put out three, four, five posts. And they're like, hey, this is too much work. This is not working. It's too much money. They give up. And I've seen uh, companies that, that did this. We, we developed some great content. And then they gave up like three months in. And then I go back six months later or five months later. And those posts, the content that we created there, it's just killing it. Um, it's ranking on Google and people are, are finding it. However, because they gave up, the potential of the reach that they could have had is actually slowly uh, dropping and dropping and dropping where it could have been skyrocketing at that point. That's a, that's a sad tragedy that we see. And that was reason number six is that they, they don't stick with it and they give up too early. Wow. Number seven. Here's another thing just to consider. This is a part of Google's algorithm. All right. When a new uh, domain hits the internet, Google, in the eyes of Google, it is like a little baby. And it's just one of those thousands and thousands of other new websites that just got launched. And most of them just sit there and, and don't do much. In the beginning, um, domain authority is not granted, even though you had a fantastic idea and a cool brand and all this other stuff, you made a beautiful website and it just launches out there. And it's just like, you know, you can't see it. It's like nearly invisible. That's because it's a brand new domain and that's how Google treats a new domain. And that goes back a little bit to number six about not giving up too early. Give it some time to grow. Give it some time, uh, communicate with Google that you're serious about your content. And this is actually going to usher in number eight. And that is there's no consistency to your content flow. Your content flow is a real indicator to, um, how serious you are and how committed you are to success in your business. So your content, uh, should flow out regularly and it doesn't have to be, you know, robotic every Monday at 5 PM, I'm going to post it, but you want to be consistent and to the point of, you know, every month you have a goal. Okay. I'm going to have four posts a month, or I'm going to have, you know, eight posts a month or even two posts a month, whatever it is, you want to try to get some consistency and longevity, longevity of your consistency for your content marketing. To do that, you have to do this thing called planning or scheduling. So this could be one of the reasons why your content marketing is failing. Eight important things that we covered reasons why your content marketing might be failing. I hope this has been helpful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to our channel or liking this video. If you have any questions or you have any thoughts, I would love to hear them. Also, if you need help with this here at blue swing media, that's what we do. We get free consultations and our goal is to help as many businesses as possible succeed with content marketing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.